When you pledge your vote, most of the time you get one of those stickers that says, I voted. But more and more, people are proving they exercise their right with a selfie. And not everyone's smiling about it. Senior correspondent Eric Sean is in New York tonight with that story. Good evening, Eric. Good evening, Brett. Well, an 18th century safeguard to protect the integrity of the vote has run up against a 21st century technology at the polls. Selfies in the voting booth are at the center of a federal case. New Hampshire is appealing a district court ruling that struck down that state's selfie ballot ban. A secret vote is very important to the preservation of liberty. The venerable Secretary of State of New Hampshire, William Gardner, says selfies violate a bedrock American principle dating back to the founding fathers, protecting the privacy of the ballot box. In the 19th century, the secret ballot was meant to stop vote buying, coercion, and intimidation. Now almost 30 states ban some form of photos, including selfies, and Gardner says it should stay that way. It's part of what a lot of people fought and died for, the right to have a free and independent vote and not to be fearful of being able to vote that way. This, to me, is in idiotic law. Republican State Representative Leon Rideout put his ballot on Twitter and Facebook. He is one of the three ACLU plaintiffs who sued the state. There's no evidence that because somebody takes a picture of their ballot and posts it online that that's going to increase vote buying and selling. He also says the ban violates the First Amendment. All the cases were a matter of free speech. Uh, one guy protesting that he didn't think he had a decent choice in senatorial candidates, so he put his dog's name in who had passed away. But Gardner insists selfies intrude on the sanctity of the voting booth. It's a special place, and it's a special place to be able to vote your conscience and not how someone else wants you to vote. There's not many things in life that people are equal, but the vote is equal. Well, a decision on New Hampshire trying to keep the selfie ban is expected in a few months. But Secretary of State Gardner points out that in the federal courthouse where the appeal will be decided, like in every federal courtroom in the country, photography is not permitted, selfies included.